Well, nearly a thousand people in Spokane live without a home. A charity is now working to change that by providing stable, affordable homes and teaching homeless people the skills they need to get back on their feet. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. We toured the newest affordable housing complex in the heart of the city, dedicated to serving people in Spokane who are chronically homeless. Move-in day is a few weeks away, but already the excitement is building for the tenants. KXY4's Ariana Lake was the only television reporter there today. She joins us from the Donna Hansen Haven with a look inside and also details about the vision behind this new building. Building. Ariana. Well, once people move into this new building, they never have to leave as long as they follow the rules. And for many people, this is the first time they've had a home where they have had that level of security and safety. Tracy Blum has searched for a stable home since she was 13 years old. That's about to change. I got to choose the apartment 208. I got to sign my lease yesterday. In a few weeks, Blum and her fiance will unlock apartment 208 and be home. I'm really excited. Blum's unit is one of 51 in this building that opened today for a public tour. Catholic Charity Spokane envisions a day when no one is left out in the cold with no place to go. And we can do that by providing apartments for people who are homeless and surrounding them with services so that they can stay housed and again become a part of society. Kalanko says that's what the building's namesake, Donna Hansen, would want. She is the person who started saying, would I want my mom to live in one of our units? I do ask myself that question every day. They're empty now, but come December 4th, these units will be full of furniture, new tenants, and dreams for the future. So, um, go back to school, possibly, you know. Behind this door is a new stable start. Her past becomes just that. My grandkids and um, my fiance's grandkids will be able to come visit us and it's a clean and safe place. You know, and stuff. Yeah, so I'm really happy about that. When the building opens, Kalanko sees the next step in a larger effort to solve homelessness in Spokane. All people need love, respect. All people should be treated with humanity and with dignity. And in our view, treating a person with dignity, the very first step is giving them a home. Charity is already in the process of building another affordable housing complex, and they are working on permits for two others in Spokane. Now, these buildings are funded completely through tax credits and the Washington State Housing Trust Fund. Reporting live in downtown Spokane, Ariana Lake, KXLY4 News. Thank you for that, Ariana.